Bennett, and you're watching Big Bennett TV. So we have dug in the Acura out of out of the ground, literally. We moved it from there, and it's all full of crap, so that we can put on your favorite fender flares, so we can go mudding in this. And, and so we can cover up some of that rust. These were, these are pretty expensive, but totally worth it. You're pretty much gonna put it on just like this. So that these are universal Acura fender flares. So we're gonna put them on like that. And try and, try and cover it up. So I got these, I bought two types. I bought, these are aluminum rivets. Yeah, so I bought a, aluminum rivets, but I decided that those aren't gonna hold. So I bought some self-tapping screws that are a little bit more aggressive. So I'm gonna put those in. They're eight millimeters and they should go right in like butter. You're not gonna need to drill holes for, self, for the pop rivets. You just literally drill them in. I'm gonna start with this side first. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a hole in it. And then that can be like, you're pretty much your, your center, your center start here. So make sure you find like a really good spot right here. Don't drill into your hand. So then you got it like that. And I'd say you probably put it right like this, and then you drill right in. So you put it like that, and then always start from the center to the edges, because if you don't, it's gonna look really bad. And then again, just start it how you would normally start it. And then make sure you look at it and then you look at it and then you say that's good it sounds like gunshots but it's not gunshots it's just normal it's normal everyday screwing why didn't you put it on the lip what do you mean i would have put it on the lip oh no that the was flat lip that looked bad ball really yeah Okay. No, just what? Wait, you're gonna love. You always gotta go diagonal and you always gotta give it an extra shot. Oh. Just like your girls are trying to pick up. Extra shot, because if you don't give it, you won't yep. get it. No, it'll work. Yep, it's gonna work. It's gonna hold. It's gonna, it's gonna guard your fenders. It's gonna cover your rust and it'll spray your mud. And I think these are like a really nice uh, stainless steel finish. It's gonna be really good. It'll never rust. The plastic will never rust. The, the plastic will definitely never rust before the screws. But these are stainless, so they don't rust. The whole key is, guys, is not. The thing is, the rockers on this car will rot before those screws rust. So you don't have anything to worry about. Because once the rockers are done on this car, so is the car. And that's true. One last one. <laughs> one last one right here. Jeez, it's almost like that bumper's made out of plastic. Now you wanna just look at it from up here. What do you guys think? You tell us in the comment section, what did you like first? Did you like the drilling? Should we have painted the stainless steel screws? Should we have got the longer edition side skirts? I don't know. It looks really good. There's like no- gap. When you're not looking at it, it looks great. There's no gap issue. It's flush mount though, guys. Really, you gotta take really good close air to make sure everything is flush with no pop outs, no nothing. This is probably gonna be the hardest one to tackle, but I'm sure- What the heck are you doing now? 
with a little bit of tools and a little bit of know-how. You gotta, well see, when you get a real rusty spot like that, you gotta make sure your screw pockets don't line up with it. Other than that, you'll be fine, right? That's true. Oh shoot, we gotta make sure that that don't line up, but you never know. <laughs> you never know, guys. I've been doing this for, I don't know, a couple minutes now. Like, this is my first time putting on these, these. You gotta make sure that this looks good, right? You wanna hold that one on the lip? Okay, and then. You go. only put the rear ones on the lip. Perfect. It's gonna look good. It's gonna look really good. Uh, if you guys wanna say the word badass, you can. It's badass, motherfucker. Look at this shit. Let me tell you, if you get any women in this car, they do not give a flying fuck about anything, let alone your fucking rockers. Or your fucking fender flares. Because I'll tell you, if you get girls in this, it's definitely because you have a beard. Well, this is how I, I mean, get, it's not... What? How this is how I get women. I uh, pick them up in that Honda and bring them to your yard for the back. Yeah, I mean it does. What it? Like, honestly, it doesn't matter if your car is. Uh, what, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, it doesn't matter if your car has a bad motor in it. Long as it looks good, it'll be it'll be good. Cause let me tell you, chicks don't give a shit about your engine. That one went right into the rust. Oh, fuck. Perfect. I guess that one. This is something that you should always pre-fill first. <laughs> yeah. But we ain't got time for that. We only had two weeks of this sitting in the yard, but we didn't have time to fill it. And that's right. We only had the time to sit. Besides, once he does that corner, you'll never see a thing. See, perfect. And then that, I guess, is just gonna be there for uh, paint prep, aesthetics. But wow! But I mean, just look at it. Like it didn't matter if the fender flare was there before or after the rust. That fucking thing gonna rust, and it's silver. The rear actually looks really good, and I didn't even measure. Screw it in all the way. But look, flush mount, guys. Flush mount. Okay. Look at it. This is not eBay fenders, all right? This is perfectly fit. You can't do it like that with the fucking eBay shit. Yeah, and I've seen like guys trimming, trimming this and trimming that, and you don't need to do it. Because anything. let me tell you, you think that looks bad? Wait till you start trimming your fucking fenders. Yeah, that's, that's when you get into big problems is when you trim it. Just screwing it. Yep. yep. That's all it's about, and this one, this it's, one was gonna probably look a little bit better because it's, it's not as blown. It won't be as bad, and the thing is, it just saves us bondo. Look at that thing. Look at that. It's like a band-aid that you don't want to put on. Yep. As Austin would say, I'm just gonna weld a band-aid on it. Boom. That's what it's all about. Guys, leave us some feedback, all right? We're just fucking around here. We need to know what kind of content you want to see. Do you guys like raves? Do you like rocks? Do you like rolling? Do you like cars? Do you like scrolling? Do you want to see, you want to see some fidget spinner shit? Or like, what do you guys want to really see? Like, you know? What are you guys looking for? You know, I mean, if you go want to just see some sluts, there's plenty of those. You know what I mean? Like, we're just bored, you know? Just bored. This is gonna look really good. If you guys want me to bring this to a car show, let it Because it will not be the ugliest thing there, I can tell you. There well, will be other Integras there. Yeah, there will, there will be, and like, I'm a big RSX fan, and It's not even staying. It's just, <laughs> it's just, I know that it's probably not gonna stay. So. I just love how flush this is. I love it. It's just, it just brings happiness to my heart. Wow, check that one out. That one came out pretty good. You know, the best part about it is they're stainless. Rust is actually lighter than uh, air. Than carbon fiber. Oh, cause it's rotted. Wow, look at the look at that. And now we're on to the last one. This is the moment you have all been waiting for. And if anybody asks anything at all, just tell them. Tell them you've seen it on Big Bennett TV. Make sure you because I always do like videos every once in a while, but I've had this Acura for a while now and 
I'm gonna I'm gonna be finishing up the uh, the initial videos on this pretty soon because I'm gonna be on to a new project soon. And if you guys want, like, I don't have an idea yet, but if you guys have like any ideas or anything, because I'm open to suggestions, but I'd rather I'd rather like to stay away from trucks, anything truck related, because they scare me. Perfect. Perfect. That's how you do it. That's that to see this finished product puts puts a smile on my face. Just just come and check out this fitment back here. How good this looks. You're not gonna get a better fitment than that. That's as good as it comes. Wow. Wow. Beauty, beauty. Oh, what do you think? Like, what are your thoughts on this? If you were someone that's never seen this before, and you just came up and seen it, what would you say? I think I'd say, sell me the Beamer. Well, the only thing that's left now, is I'm gonna touch up a little bit of this minor bodywork right there, and might do something with that. Yeah, like this fender will definitely come off to do that. It's no. gonna do it right. No, 100% yep. not coming off. Oh, wait, why not? Tell your viewers why not. All okay. Need to do, is put a little bit of bondo and then paint but that's it that's all but thanks you guys for watching and we're gonna make sure that if you have any questions comments let me know if you like this let me know if you don't like this if it's too ricey if it's too off-road if it's if it's cool and you're gonna try it let me know thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys in the next one peace